James Woods takes down Parasite Rep. Wilson. If you didn't know who Representative Frederica Wilson was before this week began, you've almost certainly become acquainted with the Florida Democrat in the interim. She's the congresswoman who listened in on a call between President Donald Trump and the family of a slain Army soldier and lambasted the commander-in-chief for saying that the fallen hero know what he was getting into. Wilson was sitting in on the call with Misha Johnson, the widow of Sergeant Law David Johnson, one of four Americans killed during an October 4 ambush in Niger. Needless to say, her accusation had White House officials livid. I was stunned when I came to work yesterday morning, and broken-hearted at what I saw a member of Congress doing, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly said Thursday, in response to Rep. Wilson's claims, according to CBS News. A member of Congress who listened in on a phone call from the President of the United States to a young wife, and in his way tried to express that opinion, that he's a brave man, a fallen hero, he knew what he was getting himself into because he enlisted. However, conservative actor James Woods wasn't even willing to be that nice with Rep. Wilson. In a tweet storm, the Hollywood icon lambasted her as a parasite. Woods began by linking to a Fox News story where White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders called Wilson's remarks appalling and disgusting. Whenever clowns like Wilson start yapping all over the media landscape, the hash Democrats are hiding something hash what now, Woods wrote. He then answered his own question. The clown in the red cowboy hat, refers to Rep. Wilson, who, as you'll soon see, favors questionable haberdashery choices. However, the point is a salient one. After all, this seems to be the one thing really competing with the Clinton-Obama-Russia narrative these days, and aren't if the media isn't milking in like a desperate Indiana farmer after five cups of coffee. But just as the National Social Media Weather Service was about to cancel their severe tweet storm warning, Woods continued. This time, he noted that Rep. Wilson doesn't exactly have the most, um, distinguished record on veterans' affairs. And then came swipes at her sartorial choices. Now, I'm not entirely sure about Woods' conclusion. After all, if the Democrats wanted a real distraction, they could certainly have done better than a rodeo clown with the name recognition of the Chargers' backup quarterback. That said, Rep. Wilson has parasitically attached herself to the body of a dead soldier in order to make sure you know her name, and she shows no signs of detaching from her host. It's disgusting, and it needs to stop. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on Woods Tweet Storm. What do you think about Rep. Frederica Wilson's behavior? Scroll down to comment below and below.